This is a demonstration video of the Danset Apollo record player. I'm just going to show you how to use it so that you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. When you receive it, the first thing you'll need to do is to screw down the two transit screws on the record deck located here and here and screw those all the way down fully clockwise so that the deck floats on its springs. There'll also be a protective cover fitted over the stylus which simply pulls off. The two main controls are on the front panel for on off, tone and volume and on the deck you have the start stop control here, speed here and record size selection here for 7, 10 or 12 inch. So you can stack between 1 and 6 records, I'll demonstrate with 2 just so that you can see how it plays. Pop the records onto the spindle ledge and put the stack on the cross. Select the appropriate speed and size and flick the switch down to auto to start the auto changer. And if you want to skip to the next record, just flick the switch down to auto again. So I'll just demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. the arm lifts off automatically when it gets to the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually then you can of course just pop an individual record down the spindle onto the platter and then you can either flick the switch down to auto whilst the stack arm is in the upright position like so and the arm will go across or you can select the first option which is start and that will start the turntable turning and you can then place the arm onto the record yourself. Once the record is playing, carefully lower the stacker arm down like so, so that it knows to switch off automatically at the end of the record. If you leave it playing with the stacker bar in the upright position like so, that will trigger the repeat function and the same record will play over again until manually switched off. So I hope that covers everything, but if you do have any questions when you receive it, I'll include my personal email address in with the machine, and that is the quickest way to contact me.